my name is Christina Painter and I'm the owner of Stir Crazy Cuisine Personal Chef Service in Cincinnati. Today I'm here at the Sunny Olive and we are going to be making a gazpacho. So the thing I love about gazpacho is that it's a very fresh dish. You can eat it with anything. It's a great summer dish and it's really easy and quick to make. And our slogan is making your life fun, easy, and positively delicious one meal at a time. So let's get started. So I have a blender here. You can use any blender that you have. Even a, uh, even a food processor would work as well. I am going to peel an onion. Okay. So I'm going to use about half an onion. Uh, this serving size that I'm making is good for about two to four servings. I'm making a little less right now. So if you want anything more than that, you can just double it. So what I'm going to do is just lightly cut the onion, toss that in there. I'm also going to do the same thing with the tomatoes. And you can even leave the ends on uh, because it's going to be processed. You do not need to worry about taking off the small little ends of the tomato. They are going to be blended. They may even have more fiber, you never know. And I'm going to use two tomatoes. And these are just tomatoes on the vine. So. There we go, we're gonna to toss this in here. Voila. We're gonna use one bell pepper. Uh, I prefer to use red. You can use green, but green is more bitter. And that's why, I don't know if you ever noticed that colorful pe bell peppers besides green are a little more expensive, and that's why. They're just um, a little sweeter, they're a better, um, taste, I think. It's all subjective though. So as you can see, what I just did is I removed the white flesh of the pepper. And there's really, it, it just holds the uh, the seeds. And the seeds aren't spicy of the bell pepper. It just kind of, it, it has kind of a bland taste that you want to remove. So I'm just going to slice this. Okay, and then one fun trick when you're doing the pepper is to cut it in half and rip it off like I did. And then to just use your hands and put your thumb up here and you can even remove the top there. Um, again, because this is blended, you can choose to not do this, but it just helps make things cleaner and you ensure that delicious fresh flavor of the pepper. And so just take your paring knife. You want to do this with a paring knife because if you try to do this with a chef knife, you're doing way too much, uh, there's less volume, <laughs> so you don't want to overdo it. So we're just going to cut those up. That's another fun thing about gazpacho is you can really just throw it in there and you can't go wrong. And then before I add anything else, well actually, yeah, I'm going to add the um, tomato juice. I'm going to add about, gosh. I'm going to add maybe 14 ounces at first of tomato juice to see how that act, how that works. And tomato juice is very salty, so I would hold off on adding any seasoning yet um, before, you know, you just want to make sure that you're not overdoing it. And the garlic, um, again, I'm just going to use about, it depends how much you like it. Uh, garlic adds zing. It is very robust, as you know. Some people love it, some people hate it. If you hate garlic, this may not be the dish for you, but if you love it, you may be in luck, because you definitely need garlic, and it adds that zing, that flavor, that uh, brings it in together to be more of a chilled soup than just a bunch of vegetables mixed together. So I put three cloves. Now, something about a blender, um, that you should think about. I'm using a large English cucumber and you don't have to peel it. Go ahead and just put the whole thing in. Actually, I'm going to start with about three quarters of it and I'm just going to slice it into smaller pieces just because more so I'm running out of room than anything. <laughs> so I'm going to just put those. Let's get this out of the way. You always want to make sure that anything, any trash, is out of the way when you're chopping or cutting. Uh, you never want to be working over anything. So we're just going to put that in there. See, I'm, I'm getting greedy. I'm running out of room. So I have everything in there. Now I'm going to put the olive oil and the vinegar, which I am using with, from the Sunny Olive. And let me make sure this is 
Okay, this is the vinegar. I'm using a jalapeno vinegar, and it adds some spice, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're eating a jalapeno. It adds the taste and a little bit of spice, um, and I'm using that for the gazpacho because, you know, you have bell pepper, you have refreshing ingredients. It's a good combination. I'm just going to go ahead and put about two tablespoons to start. Always uh, way on the less side side when you put any liquids, any flavoring in, you wanna make sure that you don't over season. And this is a medium olive oil that I'm using from here and olive oil will definitely bring it together. Again, it'll create more of a soup instead of just a bunch of vegetables mixed in because you're adding that fat to the acid. Balance the acidity. And some salt and pepper. Can't forget that, I call those my base seasonings. So we're gonna put that in there. Some salt, just a little. Actually, you know what, hold off on the salt because I don't wanna overdo it. Again, remember with the tomato juice. Better be safe than sorry. And we'll just have the gazpacho now. Okay. So now that I've blended this, I'm going to taste it before I pour it uh, into my serving platter. That's delicious. I think it just needs a little more salt, so I'm going to crush a bit of sea salt, and let's do a little more pepper too. Okay, blend it up one more time, and you want to do that at the end. Excellent. And you're done. So, just pour it out into a pretty platter. Okay. And use a paper towel of some sort to always clean the rim of your plate. You can even dab it in water if you prefer, but that way you have that clean presentation and it doesn't look like it's splattered all over the place. We don't want that. It just looks prettier when there is an even level. See, there you go. And then. Voila. Bon appetit. Again, my name is Christina Painter, the owner of Stir Crazy Cuisine Personal Chef Service, and I am here in the Sunny Olive. Come visit the Sunny Olive, Belle Udon, and check us out on Facebook and Twitter and our website at stircrazycuisine.com.